فيعني سبحان الله one thing والله as I was writing the lesson yesterday one thing that makes me really sad and full of grief and sorrow and sadness and worry and it should be the case with each and every single one of us is is when I think about a person that is buried under the dirt يعني such people had a nice life lived a comfortable life whatever it is and they would live to witness the 10 days of the Hijjah and do nothing in these 10 days. These people are now in the grave and they can't wish to come back because that's impossible. They'll never come back until the day of judgment. But if anything, if those under the dirt wanted to send a message to those that are still living on earth and they wanted to wake us up, they would want to tell us what death means because they experienced it. If it's one thing they want to send to us as a message, is they want to explain to us what death is. Then they went through it, they experienced it. Like, what is death? What is death? Death, basically, it means that your record of good deeds has come to an end. It's closed. Except what goodness that would carry on into your grave after your death. But the uh, primary understanding, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, إِذَا مَاتَ بْنُ آدَمْ in that when the son of Adam dies, his good deeds, his ability to do good deeds closes, it shuts. This is why in the Quran, when Allah described death, he described it as musibah. فَأَصَابَتْكُمْ مُصِيبَةُ الْمَوْتِ he, he described it as a calamity. You know the word musibah, it comes in the Quran in different forms. But the only one thing that Allah describes exactly as being a musibah is death. فَأَصَابَتْكُمْ مُصِيبَةُ الْمَوْتِ Allah described death as a calamity. Why? Because the record, the book of good deeds has closed. That's it. The dead person, he doesn't have a night to get up and pray during. The dead person, he doesn't have a day in which he can fast. The dead person doesn't have the ability to carry a Qur'an. His eye doesn't function so that he looks into the Quran and reads. His eye doesn't function so that he can look up into the sky and say, Subhanallah. His tongue doesn't function. He cannot say, Alhamdulillah. The word one Alhamdulillah would fill the entire scale. Alhamdulillah tamla'ul mizan. The dead person can't do that anymore. You see why it's a musibah? The ability is gone, that's it. He has no more legs. They don't function. He cannot walk to the house of Allah and he cannot perform a tawaf around the Kaaba. Finish, the abilities are gone. This is the message that the dead want to send to us. That until you still have time on earth, you still have some time. Whatever it is, it's all good. Any time you have on earth is good time. Any time is good time. Invest it properly and understand what kind of days we're in. Yani, subhanallah, wallahi, we don't know. We don't understand what is the feeling of a person that can no longer say Astaghfirullah. What is the feeling of such people that can no longer say Astaghfirullah? These, these were all good deeds for the dead. Time's up. Nothing, khalas, nothing. The door is closed. For anyone that wants to increase in his iman or accept iman at the time, it's the door doors closed. Accept and believe what you want and add what you want, but nothing is accepted anymore. We will only know the value of these days when we become like them. When we're buried under the dirt, then that's the time we will find out and we'll really understand the value of these days. For the one who doesn't take these days seriously, I tell you, my brothers in Islam, the one who does not take these days seriously is not only losing on huge reward that these days offer, but you're losing more and more of that. You're losing the true meaning of worship. What does it mean to be a worshiper of Allah Azza wa Jal? A person who's enslaved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you lose the meaning of this. You lose a huge opportunity of being brought closer and closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. You lose the concept of what it means to prefer what Allah loves over what you love. You lose these meanings. This is why we need to take these days seriously. You had in your life. Well, these days now, we began yesterday. Did you try to pick up the Quran at 1 a.m. in the morning? 2 a.m. 
1 p.m., 8 a.m., any time during the day, and read some Quran and pray to Allah Azza wa Jal. And every time you got distracted, you find yourself to remain focused. Have you tried that? 